let's evaluate our machine learning model let's evaluate our logistic regression model evaluation is very necessary to know how good our model is or how good our model is able to perform on different kind of data so for evaluation we have our confusion matrix and classification report we have already learned all of these when we were learning about what exactly is classification and we went through different terminology uh, on machine learning also on classification so let's implement a confusion matrix and then let, we will look into the recall f1 score support precision all of these using a classification report so from sklearn dot matrix we are going to import confusion matrix and a classification report classification report okay this looks good now let's create cm cm is the classification matrix so, uh, sorry confusion matrix confusion matrix okay so we have our confusion matrix we are going to pass in our data so our data should be y true values and then the prediction values so y true is our y test and then we are going to pass out y pred so let's print cm okay so we have the correct values as 64 and 27 these are the true predicted values that we were able to true positive and true negative okay so 64 plus 27 these are the number of times that we were able to predict our model is uh, correct correctly and 5 plus 4 nine times we were not able to predict it out so this looks a good deal looking into the number of amount of uh, the length of our data set now let's uh, print out and classification report okay uh, so let's print classification report and the same thing we are going to pass inside of this for checking shift plus enter y true and then y pred so we are going to pass y test and then we are going to pass y pred okay let's pass this inside a print function okay this gives me a better picture so the precision for the class 0 is 0 0.93 that is 93 percent and for 1 it's 87 percent now why there's not the same scale for same precision or recall or the f1 score for both the classes it's because our data set is imbalanced if you just move a bit of up we have always seen how imbalanced our data set is we have more number of values for our purchased or uh, unpurchased unit that is the number of people who have not bought it and people who have bought it we have less uh, number of uh, values and less number of information for the class one so for class one we have 32 support values and for class zero we have 68 values so you can see from the support itself that obviously the class for class zero the precision recall f1 score even the accuracy will be much higher for the class 0 and for class 1 it will be less because we have more data for 0 and less data for 1 in these kind of scenarios what we do mostly is find out more data for 1 so we try to scale both of them together okay so for 0 we have 93 uh, percent precision for recall we have 94 and f1 score is 93 which is again quite a good value and for 1 we have 87 84 86 looking into the less amount of data that we have this is a very good result that we are getting the overall accuracy is 91 okay, out of the 100 and we don't need to really look into the micro average and weighted average just as of now just for now you can just look into the precision recall f1 score and also the support apart from that we have the accuracy now if you want to check the particularly the accuracy score so for that we have from sklearn dot matrix and we are going to import 
accuracy score so let's check it out accuracy score it will be 0 0.9 obviously but let's check it out so we have y true value that is y test and then y prep let's check them out so yeah we have 0 0.9 on what we exactly have over here so 91 percent accurate our model is 91 percent accurate on the data we have on the training and testing data that we have so we can say that we have developed quite a good model and we can pass it out to the company which have regretted us for us so that's how we can evaluate our model that is from confusion matrix and from classification report now before ending this session uh, the next video is an optional video if you want to uh, take this model and predict it out for a single person so if you want to import the value for a single person then you can just move into the next video or you can just skip out this particular section